Good morning. I apologise for my current appearance as I look... <laughs> Hashtag Safari Live for any questions you might have. My name is James Hendry, and I will not be talking to you for the duration of the drive. Um, the only reason I... Um, this is Kirsten's idea of bandaging. Uh, I have two small gashes there, and then the problem is, of course, that my eye was also hit, but I don't think I've lost any sight in it. I can still see out of the eye, but we're just keeping it patched. Let's go to Dusty Crossing. Oh, at Dusty Crossing, where not much is crossing, but the birds still seem to be having a good fun swim, as they were doing yesterday evening. And remember, you can ask any questions, send any comments that you'd like to. I'll level best to answer them in a fashion that is both serious and entertaining at the same time. And uh, can we go to Maine South, perhaps? Is that possible? Let me just zoom out there, see what's going on. Now, yesterday we were asked we had a lot about whether or not animals cross the rivers at night. And... We've certainly yet to see evidence of it, but as Scott said, maybe during a full moon night, I am leaning towards thinking, because as soon as the sun comes up, you know, these cameras turn on and we see what is happening. I'm leaning towards thinking that they cross only in the heat of the day. I think it's very seldom that they come, even, even in the late evening. They tend to stay away from the rivers, and I suspect that's because they know that even... Well, while the crocodiles are certainly lurking in the depths and they can't see them, I think what you'll find is that, of course, they are not entirely ignorant to the fact that lions tend to hunt at night and that river banks and water courses generally are dangerous places for animals trying to escape from lions. One of the things that they don't have to escape from, of course, is the yellow-billed stork, which is what we have over there. Uh, I'm sorry, that's probably a bit bright. Let me try and let me just try and reduce the brightness there. There we go. Ooh, let's see if I can track him. I'm not sure I can track him with one eye. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> sorry about that, everyone. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Some of you will. And thank you for all feeling sorry for me. I'll do my best to get better. I'm sure I will get better. Oh, there's a hippo. Let's have a look at him. We had the most beautiful evening yesterday. I don't know if you were with us, but we watched. It was from Dusty Crossing, largely. Or was it? Yes, it was from Dusty Crossing that we watched the hippo just enjoying the evening, and we watched the swallows dipping in through the pink water, which was reflecting the sky. Oh, it was very gorgeous. This chap might, in fact, be a rock. Yes, not a hippopotamus, but a rock. Fantastic. I'm obviously going to need my other eye to see the difference between rocks and hippos. Hello, Kylie. You say, do I need stitches? Um, I hope not. I don't think so. No, I mean, there was a little bit of blood. Uh, well, you know, if you, if you nick the skin on your forehead, you find that it bleeds as though you've been shot which, of course, I certainly wasn't. And once Scott had um, cleaned the wound and Fergus had uh, sort of given some encouragement and had a bit of a giggle and Kirsten had plumped pillows all around, um, it was revealed that the injury to the forehead is not as severe as obviously the blood would indicate. That is somebody on Game Drive. Very entertaining. Don't know who they are. Hope they've got a first aid kit with them. Uh, Maria, you're wondering if the camera streams here are like the dam cams at Juma. I think they are very similar. They're probably a slightly more sophisticated version because I think they need to send quite a lot more data 
uh, quite a long, uh, you know, longer distance. I, I, you know, I don't know the specs exactly, but certainly the picture looks roughly the same. Uh, I don't know which camera is working at Juma at the moment. Remember the the one that sits above the pan, as opposed to the one that sits above the dam. Uh, the one, the you know, the really good one we had that went on the blink, went on the fritz until I left. Uh, it was like that one. So perfect, all high definition. Those are spur-winged lapwings. And they're looking for aquatic invertebrates, snails, and the like. As soon as you know when I say and the like, it means I'm not actually reading it. I've just forgotten exactly what the list is. Having a bit of a bath as well. I think these are rather special birds. And I'm looking forward to the day that I actually see the spur that they have. It's a, like a claw that sits on the elbow joint of their little wings. Obviously, they're quite vicious with each other when they are, well, thinking about trying to mate. Good. I suppose we could also have a look at the... Uh, what's the one called? Mountain cam. I can never remember what the mountain cam is called. There we go. Mountain cam. I'm not sure if he's a doctor. But I dollars a night to stay you don't want to feel like you're uh, in, there isn't medical care at hand so there's a doctor around uh, and then if maybe if there was a big problem and then if there was an even bigger problem we'd fly back to Germany The heart transplant was performed, along with a number of other medical firsts. 